To quote AZ, I love pussy with pretty lips. When you fuck it, it farts. <laughs> Alright. Now that I made the king of all tangents before the subject was even introduced, let's introduce it. Microaggressions. It's the title of the video. One word, easy. If you're interested, you'll click it. If you're not interested in it, you won't. So, full stop. Doesn't get any better than that. Okay. A microaggression. And this is a term that's been around since the 1970s. Yet, it's really a word that you hear in a lot of collegiate circles. You might be interested in intersectionality more if you're on the Tumblr rights or the Redditors or the other pieces of shit on the internet. But a microaggression is the idea that specific interactions between those of different races, cultures, or genders can be interpreted as a small acts of mostly non-physical aggression. And of course, I just read that off the Wikipedia page, yet I really thought I'd need to read his book to explain it. Basically, if you've seen a picture of a mulatto kid holding a sign saying a microaggressive phrase, he's typically told that maybe you don't dress black, or for a female, it's not often that I see a girl that acts like you. Um, these signs that they typically hear that offends them, that kicks them off, and there's plenty of them, and they take it as a microaggression. And really, it's expanded to mean a lot more stuff as of last decade, because, and later portion of last decade, of course, since we got to focus more on the poop dick. we got to focus more on disisco and people pretending to be autistic. Because, you know, everybody wishes they can be me. Admit it. Admit it. You, you on the other side of the camera. Admit you wish you were me. Okay, I'm going to stop torturing you. And I noticed that instead of calling them racial minorities, since this is the second tangent, the first tangent after getting in the subject, it's no longer called a minority, a racial minority. They're called people of color. And the reason for this is it sounds less. PC, to, it's longer politically correct, probably to call someone a racial minority, and they're not going to be minorities. They're already in majority status in some places. There's no reason to belittle them in a demographic, majoritarian sense, just POC, people of color. That's kind of corny. Now, let's say the person on the other side of the camera is a black guy. You, the viewer, let's pretend you're a black guy. If you are a black guy, it'd be a lot easier for me to get this example through. Let's say your favorite genre of music is J pop. Meaning, you like that Miku chick, that anime chick with the green hair, that there's like pigtails or something involved. 
Kikaru Kikoru, that's your shit. You like the ending theme song to most animes? Because I know when I hear the ending theme song, if it's a high-pitched schooly girl, I'll just like click to the next episode. I don't want to hear that shit, especially with headphones on since it'll make my ears bleed. But if that's your shit, and I call you out on it, that'd be a microaggression. And sometimes the inverse is also true. No, I think this is stuck in a postmodern environment like the modern university. That's already losing a lot of its Marxist touches. This is the fact that people don't want to identify with anything anymore. They want anti deeds. The deed is gone. Gregory said this. They want antithetes, they want all the disadvantages and none of the advantages of being a people. And one way to do that is to be an ambiguous person. And for some good people, it's not necessarily their fault. They have become Americanized, and social justice warriors are typically despised amongst other lefties across the world for being heavily Americanized. They're removed from a culture, so sometimes they'll critique outside cultures, like, if I, in Spanish culture, I might call a chick that's darker or negra, or something of that nature. And I'll think, hey, he's calling you black, that's a microaggression or something like that. But no, it, it's taken as a term of endearment. Or in African cultures where they might use the term fatty. But it's not fat shaming, it's a term of endearment. Or not necessarily a term of endearment, it's... The culture is way different though. Fat takes a different, more positive stance. It's associated with better things. And since the modern idea of a people of color really boils down to mestizos and mulattoes, not, not even legit black, legit Amerindian, all this stuff, it becomes a lot more complicated. Yeah. <sighs> Anyway, guys, I'm going to be on JTV Live in a few, so it's Mr. Rocket 7. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'm going to be on at 11. Anyway, SMD.